How are you feeling knowing that the world is about to see your amazing new movie? <laughs> it's great, I guess, you know, it's a, uh, it's a cool film and I really hope they enjoy it. So, can, so for those of you, or those that haven't seen the film yet, can you kind of give a brief synopsis on what it's about and your character in particular? Um, brief synopsis. It's, um, it's your classic, um, you know, saying good versus evil. Um, but in the, in the fight, in the fight world where, um, I kind of like, um, my, my character came kind of like, um, kind of makes the fighters, you know, play his game. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, one of those classic films where, you know, I, I kidnap your family member if you don't do what I say. <laughs> so are you the villain? Is that what I'm people think? You're, I'm the villain. How was that for you to channel that evilness, so to speak? Man, Kane is an evil asshole. One of the biggest assholes I ever met, I ever seen. It it was uh, pretty fun playing them, but you know, I just looked at Suge Knight and Nino Brown like, if they was the same person, it would be Kane. Right. And how has it been for you? Obviously. You know, you're extremely good at what you do, but now you've stepped into acting. Uh, how, how has that transition been from going from being a fighter to, to now an actor? Uh, I still wouldn't call myself an actor, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I, 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 I've done a few movies. I consider myself a, a, a fighter. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm a big kid and, and um, you know, it seems fun. You know, you watch you watch some movies and you see see um you know what I'm saying uh, a lot of different like um people from all different parts of um entertainment come into movies like you see rappers do it and stuff and you know I think more fighters should should um get involved into acting but I'm more like a novelty actor mm -hmm. you know would you say that there are any uh, similarities between acting and fighting because you started off yeah I wouldn't say at all because acting you make a mistake you can cut and reshoot it and mma and fighting you make a mistake the fight is over most of the time you get knocked out you make a mistake and you and you know saying so you just get knocked out you get tapped out you get submitted so i i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's no i won't say there's no similarities right and for you with the film what would you say uh was the best part of the film for you filming the best part of the film for me, um, uh, I, for me filming, I guess the best part was me getting to uh, getting to meet everybody and hang out with everybody. And one and one of my henchmen uh, in the movie was actually uh, one of my my friends in real life. So we was just like hanging out with your friends and just you know we met a lot of cool people, a lot of the girls that was on the set, you know, because my character Kane had a lot of women around him. A lot of the girls on the set was pretty down to earth people, really cool people. And I just made friends with a lot of people. Cool. I mean, I think, you know, I've, I've done a bit of research on you and I know growing up things weren't easy. So what do you think the boy would say to the man today that, I mean, gets a star in films and has become at the top of what he does? Well, that's a, man, that's a, that's a, um, that's a good question. Who knows what, what the boy would say to the man, you know, it's, um, you know who who knows that's that's a you hit me with that one that that would, that would give me some time to to think I never even been asked that one before and I thought I've been asked everything but um I tell you what come me coming from Memphis it, it is hard to believe that you know I've you know fought in front of millions of people and doing and doing um movies and stuff it sure is hard to um you know somebody would have told me um. You know, if a psychic or someone would told me when I was a kid, like, oh, you want to be uh, a fighter and doing movies and stuff, I thought they, you know, I thought they would mess with me. I would have never believed it. Yeah. And what was for you, what was the turning point that really put you on the trajectory that you are today? Was there a certain point or was it just kind of gradual that you ended up becoming a fighter? Well, well, I think everything happens for a reason. Um, I don't believe in coincidences anymore because of, how crazy my life been. But when I turned 17, 
I kind of wanted a, a change for my life and um and we moved to a different part of Memphis and the school offered wrestling and I thought it was pro wrestling I always wanted to be a pro wrestler that's what I thought it was and uh, I got involved with wrestling I found out that it wasn't pro wrestling but I still could slam people and stuff and so I loved it I fell in love with wrestling and that kind of like changed my life and um and then once I went to college wrestling I came out of college, I was like, you know, I want to, I want to continue wrestling because I started late. You know, most wrestlers, they start in, in Memphis, if they start wrestling, they start like maybe junior high school, maybe, you know, maybe. And uh, I, I started, I started very late. So I wanted to continue to wrestle and, and it led me to become a fighter. It was crazy. I never, never had the idea to become a fighter, but I started training wrestling. I hit one of my friends, get ready for a fight. And then there was history. I, I, I got thrown to a fight within three days notice and I beat the champion of Memphis. And it was like, oh, you're going to be a fighter. I'm like, okay. Okay. I mean, when you beat the champion of Memphis, I mean, that's pretty much your destiny. I mean, you're meant to be a fighter. If you can do that, it's so early on in your career. Yeah, it was crazy. I had no idea. And would you say that, you know, your love for wrestling, finding a passion and a constructive passion is really kind of what saved you from that darker time in your life? Well, yeah, yeah. It's, um, you know, passion can, can save anybody from, from anything that's, that's going negative in, 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 in their life, you know? So yeah, wrestling took my mind off, uh, off a lot of things and I just focused on, on wrestling and I, and I ended up getting kind of good at it. I wasn't never the best, but I ended up kind of getting kind of good at it, fell in love with, with wrestling and, it was all she wrote. Right. And what would uh, advice would you have for people that are, you know, in a not so good space right now and are caught up in the system or in drugs and, and dealing? What, what advice would you have for them? You know, because there's always a hope of, of changing your life. Well, you know, it's, it, it's a lot of people all over the world that's, uh, that's on the wrong path and, and maybe they can't see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, but I can tell you that uh, most of the time, like uh, you on a, you on the wrong path, it's it's a it's a dead end street. And uh, I, I saw saw a lot of people around me dying, going to jail, prison, or whatever you want to call it, or, or getting strung out on drugs. And I, and you should want more for yourself. And a lot of people don't don't believe this, but it's true. Whatever you put your mind to, whatever you focus on. You, you know what I'm saying? You can basically create your own reality, whatever you focus on. So if you just focus on uh, on being positive and surrounding yourself around positive people, then you can have a positive outcome and you can, you know what I'm saying, go down a different path and one that's not uh, a dead end because like people want, want, want everything now. Young people don't think about their future, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people, people, it's like instant, instant gratification, but everything don't work that way. You know what I'm saying? We, we all have to prepare for our futures and you don't want to have to look over your shoulder and, you know, people worried about impressing other people. And I want them the, the nice clothes, the brand name, this, and the nice flashy cars and everything. But, you know, it's, it's other ways to, to accumulate that type of stuff without having to look over your shoulder or worry about the police come taking it for you from you one day. So I, I would say that my best advice for them is to surround yourself around positive people, people who's doing positive things and any friends that's doing negative bullshit, get the fuck away from them, honestly. Yeah. I mean, because they say that you are the, the five people that you surround yourself with the most, that's who you become. Exactly. I believe in it. And as far as uh, bringing it back to the movie, what is it you hope that people get from the film when they do watch? Well, I, I just, I hope people get entertained. You know, the uh, movies uh, are, are meant to entertain people. And um, I think that uh, the MMA fans would, would love the movie already because they're MMA fans. But hopefully um, non-MMA fans will watch the movie and get interested in becoming an MMA fan and watch a more, uh, you know, more MMA, even though, uh, the real sport, we don't fight to the death and there's no puppet like kidnapping um, people <laughs> and making, making you lose fight or making you do this. But 
but still the, the the heart of the sport is is there you know a lot of people love martial arts and we mix them together and, and make mixed martial arts so hopefully people are entertained but non-mma fans will start looking at the sport and become fans i think they will so Thank you so much for your time. I mean, I think you're so inspiring and the film's brilliant. And I know that so many young people watching your film, I think, will become huge fans as well, you know, from oh, watching thanks. it. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.